Sharpen their pencils and pack their bags for the first day of school in Tulsa. This year is already shaping out to be different from last year for Tulsa Public School teachers and their students. Tune News reporter Sarah Goldenberg trailed along as the superintendent visited several schools today. Sarah? Karen, we noticed many of the classes are packed with students. It's just one of challenges that teachers face this school year. It really is exciting on the first day of school. You, you can see that just in the teachers and the kids when you go in the classrooms, and it's really what it's about. Show me how it's done. The hallways and classrooms buzzed with excitement on the first day of school at Jones Elementary. But Superintendent Dr. Keith Ballard noticed some changes due to budget cuts right away. One of the things I noticed was 29 kids in a first grade class, 31 in a first grade class, too many. Several classrooms have around 30 students. The average class size used to be 20. Some teachers have also been shuffled around. Others didn't come back this year after layoffs. We're wrestling with that. We're down 225. It will impact class size, um, but, but I think that we're dealing with it pretty well. He put me down outside the door. Well, here we are, Junie B, he said. First grade at last. Crystal Militich has her hands full with 32 first grade students. It's going to be much harder to reach one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we'll do small groups but the small groups won't be so small. She says classroom rules are more important than ever. You can't throw stuff around over your friend. That means, that means you poked your eyes. Militich says teachers are optimistic. We all keep saying it's going to be an interesting year. We all keep saying that. That's the word that's floating around the school. We're just trying to get through, trying to survive basically with all the kids. Now, Tulsa Public Schools should get about $7 million in stimulus funds soon. That money could be used to hire some more teachers back and to cut down on class sizes. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.